Support WrestleTalk! Is William Regal going to leave AEW and go to WWE? I'm Ollie Davis. I'm joined by Tempest. Welcome to the WrestleTalk Reacts video to this news that first broke over the weekend because Triple H, in a very flirty, teasing, thirsty way on Twitter, on the Twitter, he posted, oh, tonight's Survivor Series just wouldn't be the same without and then a montage of William Regal saying, War Games! War Games! War Games! War Games! War Games! In a video. Now, this was sweet because it was War Games on the main roster for the first time that evening. And then the following day on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said, well, there's a story here. Mm -hmm. And Dave Meltzer has this way of talking where he definitely knows something is up. And he says, you know, off the record, I can't say anything right now, things like that. But it became this innocent, nice tweet from Triple H to his best buddy, William Regal. They were, Regal was essentially Triple H's right hand man during NXT. Yeah, there, there was the Triple H circle in NXT that all steadily got released over the last year or so when the NXT 2.0 takeover happened. We lost William Regal, we for a time lost Road Dogg, we lost Samoa Joe. There was the Triple H core that was being picked off one by one, but it's always been very clear that William Regal has had a lot of influence in NXT and has had a very good relationship with Triple H in the development of NXT. So now we've got this situation where Triple H has replaced Vince McMahon on the main roster. It's finally happened. And you've got to think he's looking at all of the people he used to work with, who he liked working with in NXT, you know, Malachi Black, FTR, people that uh, have said that WWE have reached out to them to check on their contract status. And William Regal's name was never brought up in all of this. But now it seems like Triple H wants his right-hand man back, if that tweets anything to go by, and Meltzer's report. Meltzer originally said on Sunday that Regal was signed to a one-year deal when he first joined AEW. First showed up, of course, at Revolution in February, so you'd expect his contract to expire February, so just a couple of months away, uh, or maybe to April, depending on when he signed that contract. The news that's come out today, however, is that it is not a one-year deal. William Regal, when he signed, which was only in April or May, said that he signed for three years. So now we've gone from a situation where Regal could just leave AEW in a couple of months. You know, I think you can you can see how the MJF angle plays out. To actually, if he wants to go back to WWE anytime soon and work with Trips, he has to actively ask for his release. It makes the situation a lot more complicated in that sense, because yeah, this seemed like a little bit more cut and dry before if it was just a one year deal, because once the deal's up, then we see what happens. But now there are elements of, well, we don't know what happens at the end of that one year. If we have to wait three years or two and a half, two and, a, two and change to see what William Regal's future long-term looks like. And it then becomes a lot more interesting because Dave mentioned that Tony Khan hasn't gone out and given people early releases at this point, and that would set a bit more of a precedent or be a big change, a diversion from that game plan if things were to change here. Is that going to happen? We don't really know. But Dave saying that there is a story here would lead me to believe that obviously there's more to this than just rumors, speculation. Oh, maybe someone either wants out or he's wanted on the other side. If there's more to it that can't be spoken about right now, I find that very interesting. I like how the war games saying has sort of become the, the big herald. That it's the William Regal signal in the sky. It's his <laughs> bat signal. War Games! Uh, what I found really interesting from Dave Meltzer's most recent comments on Wrestling Observer Radio is that he said this was something going on even before last Wednesday. So last Wednesday on AEW Dynamite, we had the angle where Regal turned up after turning on John Moxley and the Blackpool Combat Club at full gear and siding with MJF. And John Moxley confronted him about that and Moxie said, get out of this promotion. I Run never want Simba. to see you again. Run away and never return. Yeah, in that lovely Lion King play on the drama. And Regal 
left. And I, you know, a lot of people have said, oh, is that a sign he's done? Apparently, no, this was always part of the plan. This was always an angle in the MJF John Moxley feud story. However, the discussions about Regal's larger future with the company have been predating full gear. This is not something that has come about because of this angle that they've done. And I hadn't heard necessarily rumors or anything like that beforehand, but there being a conversation backstage with whoever's involved with this conversation, it's very interesting to me because it does sort of feel like we're just getting going mm -hmm. with what William Regal is doing as an on-screen character in AEW. Obviously, we've had this now big character shift for him, turning heel, turning on the Blackpool Combat Club, or at the very least, John Moxley. And you would like to think that there is now a sizable run in the future for him and MJF as a really fun heel pairing, but we don't really know what the status of all of that is going to be. Obviously, at the very least, he would be here until February, at minimum, if that's a one-year deal, and we know that it's more than that, but... Looking at all the different possibilities, that still gives you a few months there for them to work with. But still, you'd have to think that AEW would want a nice long runway for these two to just work together. From everything we've seen of Regal and MJF so far, with their excellent promo that they did going back off of their history with NXT and everything, I would be really sad if we did not get the opportunity to have as much of that as possible. Uh, just to finish on Dave's part here, this is the quote where he's essentially going... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, the fact that he said he was signed for three years, that doesn't mean he's for sure not leaving and there's no story here. There's something going on. But there's no guarantee he's leaving. There's no guarantee he's staying. There's no guarantee he's not staying. But I do know it's something that's in play. So that's basically what I know, what I can say. Put it that way. What he can say right now, off the record. So, um, should Regal go? Should should Tony Khan let William Regal leave? He obviously wants to get him and Triple H very close. Triple H obviously wants him back. There are lots of angles to this. I think if you're looking at it strictly as, like, from a fan perspective, I find it more fun with the possibilities that he could have in AEW from like a narrative standpoint. And as a fan, I I'm more interested in seeing those things play out because obviously we've seen it be very good this year as we've already seen. And I'd like to think that there's more possibility for that in the future. But man, on the other side, you'd have to think that the opportunity to be part of Triple H's WWE would also be very appealing to him. Well, I think there's an argument here, even from an AEW fan perspective, that Regal should go to WWE. Now, let me explain. Because Regal is with MJF right now, MJF's whole heel character for the next year is going to be the bidding war of 2024, which is his way of saying, I might go to WWE if they offer me more money. What better way to tell that story than if Regal goes to WWE? In, you know, not like now, but in February. And all the time, MJF is cutting promos like, I'm going to join my buddy Regal. I'm going to join my buddy Cody Rhodes. I fully believe MJF has definitely signed a long-term contract. <laughs> Are they, if, they, if they haven't, that is terrible business practice from Tony Khan. But I think it would add a lot more realism to what I can see as a potential, like a, an inevitable conclusion of MJF ultimately staying. Mm -hmm. If they're obviously wrestling fans will look at things like that and MJF will cut good promos with that <laughs> material for sure. I would not be confident in WWE's willingness to participate <laughs> in a friendly manner in something like that. I think it, honestly, I think that MJF is the Brian Pillman of this generation in the sense that no one's in on the work besides him. He's the only one who has all the answers to what he's doing. And if he ends up in WWE in a year and a half, I would not be the least bit surprised. <laughs> so it's a weird thing where, yeah, if William Regal's on the other side of that line, that could make for some very intriguing television as well. But I don't know that that's something that AEW would want rather than just wanting to be able to control the pieces that they have access to. I think the most realistic way if Regal leaves AEW is, is two things. 
One, there is actually a clause in this three-year deal that he can get out after one year. Then it's like Tony Khan and AEW can't do anything. That's Regal's decision then. Where I think he probably would go to Triple H out of allegiance. He seems like a very loyal person. But then also, Regal is someone who commands respect. And Tony Khan is, you know, unless it's a situation like Andrade or Punk where bad behavior dictates things. Right. Um, I, I could see out of respect Tony Khan being if that's really what you want and you want out of your contract I will let you go I could see it honestly it, again it's not something we have seen to this point so you would deal with you know precedent and and well you said this for this guy and not this for this guy and what does mm -hmm. that say about me that that whole chestnut but in general yeah William Regal is a veteran who does command a lot of respect he's a legend and I don't think you would even necessarily want to have the outlook of AEW be keeping people there against their will when they are someone who commands such respect and are someone who behaves well. So I could totally see that happening as, as well as a possibility, but until it happens, it's difficult to say for sure. Yeah. Well, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Will William Regal leave AEW? Will Tony Khan let him? Should Tony Khan let him? Uh, it's all up for discussion at this point. And probably nothing will happen till at least <laughs> April. But it's good to get ahead on this. WrestleMania weekend. Imagine wow. if he re returns then. Uh, but for now, please press the subscribe button, press the thumbs up, share this video around, all that lovely stuff. I've been Ollie Davis. This has been Tempest. Jam that jam.